Hello everyone, I'm Chris Peters and this is a screencast series on building a social networking site using the Cold Fusion on Wheels framework. In this series I'm going to show you how Cold Fusion on Wheels helps you streamline your CFML development. I'm also going to show you how Wheels helps you enjoy developing applications even more than you already do. In this first episode, I'm going to show you how to set up your Wheels application to get rolling with your database. So, let's get started. Okay, now I'm in Cold Fusion Builder, and as you can see, I've got a project open called Wheels Demo. What I did was I went to cfwheels.org and downloaded the Cold Fusion on Wheels framework. I then unzipped the file into my project, and basically what you end up with are a number of files and folders, and these files and folders make up the framework. Once I have that in there, I set up my web server, and for this demo, I have Apache running on localhost. So now that we have that all in there, we can run localhost. And if everything went okay, it'll show you a congratulations page much like this one. If you're a beginner, this congratulations page includes a few helpful links to some resources to help you get started. So there's a link to a Hello World tutorial to the documentation, as well as to the Google group, in case you need to reach out and ask some questions or if you're kind of stuck in a bind. So for my application, I've set up a data source called Wheels Demo that points to a MySQL database. Wheels doesn't just run on MySQL, it also supports SQL Server, PostgreSQL, and Oracle. So I'll go into my MySQL database and as you can see I have a database called Wheels Demo set up and in that there's just a single table called People. In Wheels it's a convention to name your database tables plural. What I'm gonna do now is set up my application so that it can talk to the data source. What I do is open the config folder and open settings.cfm. At the top of this file, it helpfully includes a few calls to help me set up my data source. So I only really need to set up the name, so I'm going to uncomment this and get rid of the other lines. And we'll put in the name of our data source. If I go back to the browser, basically since I changed something in my config settings, I need to clear up out the cache. Wheels caches all my settings by default. Um, and to do that, I reload the application. To reload your application, you go to the URL anywhere in your application and um, set a, a URL parameter called reload and set it to true. Now that I've run that, my application is reloaded, and it should be recognizing the data source that I just set. Let's go back in Cold Fusion Builder and uh, make a change to our application to uh, make sure that everything was is running okay. So I'll go in the controllers folder, and at a high level, a controller is basically a class within your application that controls part of your application's flow. Because it's an object, we'll create a Cold Fusion component, and we'll call it user with a capital U. And it's going to extend controller with a capital C. When your uh, component extends controller, that gives it all of the behaviors that it needs in order to act as a controller in your application. Within my CFC, I'll create what's called an action. An action maps directly to a method within my component. And we're going to call this register because eventually we'll be building a registration form for people to sign up for the social network. Within this action, I'm going to set a variable called user. And it's going to hold a value returned by the wheels model function. This returns a wheels model object uh, generated by the wheels ORM. Think of uh, 
a wheels model as one row out of a given database table. So in my people table, it would be one person, one row out of the table. Accordingly, uh, when you call it, you give it the name of the, the model that you want. So let's give it person, which is the singular form of people. And we'll call its new method to create a new instance. And let's, let's just CF dump this uh, to see what's going on. Now, wheels, by convention, um, you, you interact with your controllers through the URL. And it's kind of cool because it creates pretty search engine safe URLs. So by default, to access an action out of my user controller, I would first specify the controller to access, which is user, and then the action, register. And when I run this, it should call all of that. And since it was able to connect to the database, uh, Wheels on first load introspects my people table to generate a person model. And as you can see, it's of type models model. So everything ran just fine. Now that we have our Wheels application all set up and ready to go, this is where the real fun starts. Be sure to visit us at cfwheels.org to catch more screencasts and learn how to use the framework.